Hello again, second lifers. It's Bully Coco. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your GoStream stream using your informations, and we're going to see the shoutcast system. So here I have my note card of informations that I showed you before that you need to absolutely have with you, and I'm going to need my stream informations. So my server IP, my port and my password. All right, let's start with mix. Let's go to the options and to the preferences. In the first tab, sound hardware, make sure that your sound API is the right one. Make sure that your output and input are all set up. So in my output, I have my speakers and in my input, I should have my microphone um, right here that I should select and then I can apply then let's go to live broadcasting here I'm going to select shoutcast because I'm using a shoutcast stream in mount I will make sure that slash stream is written now let's go and pick up my GoStream informations in Second Life. Here let's copy and paste my server IP. You can do Ctrl C to copy. Let's go back to Mix and paste it in Host. You can do Ctrl V to paste. Make sure there are no spaces or no other characters than the numbers of your server IP. Next, I need my port. Here is my port. Make sure to copy without any space, any mistake. Control C. And Control V to paste. Then I need my password. Control C, Control V. Next, I want to make sure that the bitrate is the right one. If I have a really good internet connection, I can use to full potential my stream, which means 320 kbps. If I have a bad internet connection or an unstable internet connection, for example using the Wi-Fi and if the weather is not so good, then I might use 128. This ensures me a good quality without needing too much of an internet connection. As I'm using Wi-Fi, I will stick to 128. But if you have good internet, you can go up to 320 kbps. So here let me select my kbps. Make sure that this is encoded in MP3 and not in AUG or Opus or AAC or other AACs. Make sure it is MP3 for Shoutcast. Then select your channel, so stereo for me. And stream name, you can write something here of your choice. Avoid writing anything here, avoid writing anything here and in others and especially do not write any specific symbols here this could lead to a corruption of your stream as well when you're done you have selected the type of a system which is shoutcast you have put your informations you have selected the encoding settings um, and selected your stream name you can hit apply and go back to mix then click ok and it is time now to hit the broadcast button. Once it becomes white and blue, you are actually streaming music. Now let's drop a song. Like so. I can play the song. In mix, I can talk throughout the microphone right here, so you can hear myself. And you can use also the ducking, which means when you are playing a song, and you talk, the ducking will lower down the volume of the music and make your voice 
in a higher volume so people will hear you in a more of a radio-like way. So this is how you stream with Mix. Once you are done streaming, you can click again on the broadcast button and stop the streaming. Now let's do it on Virtual DJ. Go to the settings. Here go to the broadcast tab. Select Shoutcast. Select your encoding quality, so 300 kbps high quality if you have good internet again and 128 if you're on Wi-Fi or unstable internet connection. In the server URL, I'm going again to take my server IP and copy and paste it. Like so. I'm going also to need my server port copy and paste it and I'm going to need my password copy and paste it virtual DJ is more easy it is already setting for you the slash stream the mount um, and the login too so all you need to do is the server IP the password, the port, and of course the encoding quality and selecting Shoutcast. Once you're all set up, you can hit the button Start Broadcast. As you can see now, I am broadcasting live. When I am done, I can click again to stop the broadcast. Alright, now that we've seen how to connect to Mix and Virtual DJ, let's go back to Mix, Stream, and I'm going to show you how to be able to hear your stream in Second Life using your land URL. So here I am in Mix, I'm just going to click Broadcast, I'm going to start broadcasting, it's going to be white and blue, I'm going to put a song in here, I'm going to let it play. Of course, my mix is muted. I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Okay, so the song is playing on mix. I'm going to mute mix um, on my computer. And then I'm going to listen to myself in Second Life. So here I'm going to copy and paste my land URL like so. I'm going to go to World, Parcel Details and Sound. In Sound I'm going to paste my land URL. You have to know that you must have the right to change the music URL link of the land to be able to put your land URL link. If you do not have the right and you're working in a club, then you will have to give your land URL link to someone from the club to be able to put it for you. But if this is your land, you can do it because you will have the right. So let me put my stream in here. I hit enter and I should be able to hear myself really soon. And I hear myself. And there we go, we are live and I can hear myself in Second Life. For other softwares like Sam and Winamp, we have set for you pictures tutorials. You can just click them and follow the pictures. So step 1, step 2, step 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and step 8 for example for Sam Broadcaster. For Winamp, it is also the same. We have set for you a few images as a tutorial with steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8 to connect with Winamp. All you need to do is to follow. We have also set for you mix settings that we have seen before and virtual DJ settings that we have seen also just before. 
If there is any other specific software that you use and that you would like us to make a little photo of the settings according to GoStream informations and server, let us know, of course. This is how you stream with your GoStream informations using Shoutcast Stream.